Is everyone who comes to your seminars unhappy? <laughs> well, it depends. It seems to depend on what seminar. And uh, I would say the majority of people who come to the seminars are searching for truth. Many of them are already quite happy and quite open-minded. That's why they're willing to come along to one of the seminars. Um, but there are times when I say things in a seminar that causes them to feel about an emotional thing that happened in their childhood or something that happened in their life. And as a result, they'll have a cry. So they'll, in that moment, be unhappy. I feel this whole concept of happiness and unhappiness is very flawed as well on the planet in the sense that we almost expect all of us to be happy all the time. And then when we're not happy all the time, we think something's wrong. But the reality is many of us have had very harsh childhoods, harsh, harsh lives. And particularly if we've lived in the third world or you know, in some countries that don't have the same level of resources that we have in the Western world. And we've had very difficult lives and we've got a lot to cry about actually. We've got a lot to release that we have been sad about. And we've never, never had the opportunity to emotionally process it. So, so I believe a lot of people actually are very unhappy. In fact, I feel the majority of the world is very unhappy and afraid. And they're even afraid of their unhappiness. Mm. If we release this unhappiness and this fear, then we have the potential to have a very happy world and very happy individual lives. But we're not going to be able to do it by making out that nothing bad happened, by making out that the past didn't happen. We're going to have to do it by facing up to our past, both as humanity but also as individuals, and coming to terms with our past. When we do that, then we have the potential of being happy after we've experienced some unhappiness. Mm. I feel that when people come to the seminars, they're often um, like any per normal person. They, they are a person who's trying to be happy, but often quite unhappy inside of themselves. They're a person who believes they are loving when quite often they're quite unloving. And they're people who often know, think they know the truth and then after a short discussion realise that maybe they don't know very much of the truth. And I feel the majority of the world's population would fall into that cate those categories. I believe we don't have anything to fear from that. We only can learn from that. Is everyone who comes to your seminars happy? <laughs> Please refer to the discussion about everyone being unhappy. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe we don't need to record an answer yeah. if you um, like. Well, I think I that could be, this could be included in that answer yeah. um, together, I think, it could be included. Sure. Because the, the reality is that we all have the potential for extreme happiness. We also have the potential for extreme unhappiness. It all depends on how we choose to live our lives. If we choose to live our lives completely in harmony with love and truth and humility and receive divine love, then there is a high likelihood of living in extreme happiness in our life. If we choose to live our lives out of harmony with God's laws, out of harmony with love, not wanting to know the truth, denying the truth most of our life, not taking personal responsibility for our life, then we are choosing to live with a lot of pain and suffering. And so, you know, that is unfortunately the state of humanity. We are making these choices and unfortunately the majority of us finish up making choices based upon addiction, fear and other emotions. And as a result of that, they're not choices based around love and truth. So we can it can only result in pain and suffering. And, uh, and I feel even pain and suffering itself, while in itself it, is hurt, it hurts, it also is a way for us to pause and go, oh, wow, I'm in a lot of pain and suffering. There must be something wrong mm -hmm. with my life. So it actually causes us to get to a state of humility at some point. So, so I feel that happiness, extreme happiness is definitely possible. I also feel that extreme unhappiness is definitely possible. And it all depends on our choice, what we choose to do the choices we make personally as to what will be the result. Now, obviously, many people who come along to my seminars are, are the same range of people as you would find in any normal day-to-day -day activity. As a result of that, 
There are some that are happy, there are some that are unhappy, and there's a wide range in between. So you're actually saying that the people who attend the seminars represent a cross-section of society at the moment? Yes, I feel they represent a cross-section of society with one possible exception, and that is that they are open to a guy called Jesus say, saying some truths to them, which general society at this point in time is not open to receiving. Mm. So aside from that, they basically are very, very similar to any other person you would meet in society. They all come out of general society. They, you know, they all come out of different experiences. There's a wide range of backgrounds. There's a wide range of socioeconomic backgrounds. There's a wide range of cultural backgrounds in every person that we meet that are attracted to divine truth. The only difference between the majority coming at this point and the average person is they are not afraid to come along to a person who says he's Jesus telling them something at a seminar. That's the main difference. And in fact, probably the only difference. Mm. They, many of them also have a desire for truth and are willing to try some things out that are, are sort of left of centre or right of centre, uh, you know, something that's not normal, what they feel is not normal. Although when they come and receive the divine truth from a seminar, they realise that I'm a very normal person speaking about very normal things in a very clear uh, manner. And that is what often finishes up attracting people to have a longer term study of the divine truth. Mm. Mm -hmm.